Yo, what's up? It's Aaron back again making another video for you guys for Friday. Like I said, I was going to try to make videos for you guys every Monday and Friday. So I'm getting this down for you guys. Uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you all doing okay. Um, I had a pretty good week. Uh, yesterday I had bad anxiety, pretty bad, but it was okay. I talked to my friend all day, so we were... She was going through something too, so we was in it together, so, you know, I didn't feel so bad. But, um, yeah, yesterday was kind of bad, but I'm okay today. Uh, hope y'all doing fine. Um, uh, I just want to say, y'all, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. Um, tell your friends, tell your doctor, tell anybody you know that wants to learn more about mental illness and people with schizophrenia and stuff like that so you can go ahead and pass my videos along uh, you can go subscribe and like I said I always uh, try to answer my people when they write me so you can uh, write me on Instagram or Facebook or friend me on Facebook and just let me know who you are and because I am schizophrenic, I am paranoid, so I don't add everybody right away because I think everybody's a cop or FBI. I know that's crazy, but I don't answer people's stuff right away. So let me know who you are, and then I'll add you. But I'm going to go ahead and put those up on the screen. I think they're already being passed up on here. But it's my Instagram and my Facebook. Okay, so let's start. What I'm going to talk about today is i don't know if i ever did this video before but i'm gonna do it again i'm not sure and I, it's probably might be some new stuff so let me this video is gonna be about uh what started my schizophrenia so let me tell you guys about that and what started mine and what i think started it and when it started and all that stuff so let's get started okay <clears throat> the very first thing that i remember is was the lack of sleep that I was getting when I was between 15 and 20 something. That's why I was so mad because I was never sleeping. And so I acted fine at school and stuff. I held it in at school. And I held it in in front of my mom. But uh, yeah, it was a lack of sleep. So um, basically my grandpa died when I was 15 and uh, I took it real hard. And so, I just was really upset about it, and that's all I could think about, so I stopped sleeping. All I did was stay up all night crying and worried about him and worried about me, and he's gone. I'm not having him no more. And so, I stopped sleeping. And so, um, I didn't tell anybody, and so my mom, I guess she thought I was just being lazy. That's what she said. And so, she... Uh, will wake me up during the day. She will wake me up during the day and I would try to take a nap. Shut up, Fiona. We would try to take a nap and she will wake me up. And so I didn't get sleep during the day either. So eventually I just stopped sleeping at all. And it just got worse and worse and worse. And so that's what I think might have had started in my schizophrenia was the lack of sleep after my grandpa died. Okay, uh, my home life. Um, my home life was pretty bad. It was filled with a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, and a lot of whoopings. And so, I know I, I looked it up myself, and I also asked the doctor about it too. And I know she, my mom would deny it, but most of my problems is because the way she acted and treated me and so all like anxiety and paranoia and all that stuff and it's from her and so that's that was my home life now i was fine in school i had friends i was you know i talked to people i was fine and i was happy but when i get home i would be sad i didn't want to be there all i would do is think about my grandpa and so i didn't want to be at home at all and that's the next thing I was going to speak on uh, about my grandpa dying. That was really hard on me. Because um, I saw him every day of my life. And we were really close. And, you know, he was like a dad too. Because I didn't really have a dad of my own. So he was like a real good dad to me. And he was gone. And so that started 
my like I said, my not sleeping, and that's what probably started my psychosis and shit. Um, and, and then another thing, it might be hereditary because my mom, she's like, she doesn't take anything, she, and she won't admit it, but I think she's bipolar, and she's dealt with depression before too. And like I said, I think she might be bipolar because she goes from one motion to the next out of nowhere. So, and then, uh, I don't know much about my dad, so I know uh, they said that he had a sister that was crazy or whatever, or whatever you want to call it, mentally ill, uh, and he had a sister that was like that, and he, uh, he might have passed it on to me too, so that might be the second place I got it from, um, yeah, so my mom has problems, um, uh, getting shot at. That was another thing. I got shot at uh, when I was like, well, I got first time I ever got robbed. I was 12 years old. I was with my friend's house. It was around Christmas time, and some crackhead or crazy dude, I don't know, stupid or whatever, came to rob my friend's mom and put a gun in all our friends' faces, and, and me in his face and his mom's face. And I can't remember much about it, but I remember we ran in the house and. I, I can't remember, but I know it happened. I remember that fucking shit. Um, but yeah, getting shot at. Um, I used to sell crack. I used to sell drugs and stuff like that. And uh, so I owed somebody some money. And it wasn't a lot of money, but they were just stupid and wanted to be tough. So they shot at me a bunch of times. Every time they saw me, they started shooting. And so, you know, back then... Well, during that time, I didn't have no gun on me now, so I couldn't defend myself. So, yeah, they shot at me, and that shit just made me made me super paranoid. I didn't trust anybody no more, except for, like, certain types of people, but I didn't trust nobody I knew anymore. I didn't trust the dudes. I didn't trust the girls. I didn't trust nobody. I just cut everybody off, moved, and said, fuck y'all. So... Um, and like I said, uh, I might have been born with it because of my mom's stuff and then my dad's fence out of the family, so I might have been born with it. Because uh, when I was like, I can't, I, I think I was like maybe four, between four and seven, I was a little kid and I saw a little girl in a little yellow dress in our living room. And for years I thought I saw a ghost. And now that I'm grown and, you know, I know I have problems, I think I might have, you know, there might have been a beginning of something way back then. So, because one of my, uh, my principal, when I was in school, elementary school, she, I guess she kind of knew something. But she thought I had ADHD and so she, uh, yeah, she, I, she was right. I do have it. I didn't know it until I got grown, but I do have that shit. So school was so hard for me, and that's why I just said fuck it and gave up on school. Uh, let's see. Uh, now the cutting, the cutting stuff, how I cut and do all that stuff and self harm, that started before the schizophrenia, and so that, like I said, I might have just been starting just getting ready to have schizophrenia I don't know but I started the cutting before all this all those voices and stuff came um I think I started cutting when I was like 15 or 16 like a couple months after my grandpa died no no about 16 or 17 I think when I started because maybe I'll do a video or I'm, it's in my book that I'm writing or maybe I'll do a video and tell you about all those times when I was a run away and how it was just a horrible time for me i was homeless on thanksgiving what else christmas i got out i got out of a fucking jail slash net house when i was like three days before christmas so that was good but i just it was rough but i had some good friends back then that let me live with them so i wasn't completely alone so you know, it seems like God always throws at least one person in my life to keep me from just saying fuck it. So, I want to thank y'all. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so, the depre I had depression 
way before I had schizophrenia. I, I think I got depressed maybe when I was like 12 years old. But, you know, I was able to deal with it and just go on, you know, deal with it and just get with it. Um, my mom gave me paranoia and trust issues. Like, uh, I don't trust nobody no more. The only people I trust that wouldn't hurt me or do me dirty is my grandma and my two kids. But she gave me major trust issues because... Like, for instance, one time she had kicked me out, and I was gone for a while, and she said, uh, once you come on home, you know, and everything will be cool, I'm like, okay, I'll go home. And so I got home, she said, oh, you, you look dirty, you should go take a shower. So my dumb ass go take a shower, and then when I get out the shower, bam, there's three cops in my living room waiting for me to get out to take me to jail because of her. So shit like that, that's why I trust issues. She's done that stuff like that multiple times. So I don't trust her at all. I don't trust police. I don't trust no friends, no nothing. So that's how I live. I don't trust nobody no more. Fuck that, for real. Um, and then I've had my heart broken a bunch of times by girls, black, white, Asian, whatever you want to say. I've dated them all and Still ain't found a one. I always, and then when I do really like one, they be gone. And I can't do a damn thing about it. I, I'm going to go ahead and drop some names. Motherfucking Amanda. I ain't going to say your last name. But if you're watching this, talking about you, you broke my heart. This motherfucking scar right here, this cross. Was the night you broke my heart. Shit, and I had to go to the hospital the next morning. But I ain't going to say your last name, Amanda. And then the second girl, we're going to call her Joe. Because I don't want to say her name because she kind of mean. But I guess that was. But she did me dirty too. We, I thought we was happy and she did me dirty. So girls give me trust issues just as much as my mom did. Um, I have friends who betrayed me multiple times. That's another reason why I have trust issues. Like, uh, I've been kicked out and I was living with my friend and my other friend that lived down the street or whatever uh, offered me some food. And I was like, okay, I'm hungry. I'll eat. And so my friend calls me later. My friend calls me later and is flaming mad at me because his mama fed me. So, I don't, and that was supposed to be one of my homeboys, so shit like that. And then, matter of fact, the people who shot at me, they were my homeboys. So, I was going to say, I just don't trust nobody no more. Mamas, family, friends, girls, I don't give a fuck, fuck all y'all. I don't trust nobody no more. Y'all done fucked me up too much. I just, I was talking with my uh, caseworker yesterday, and we was talking, and we realized I got fucking... Uh, what's it called? Agoraphobia, I think that's what you call it. It's when you're, like, kind of scared to go outside and you don't like being in certain types of situation or certain places and stuff like that. And I didn't know that's what I had, but I looked it up and I got all the symptoms. And that's probably, like, one of the main reasons why I stopped working was because of that. So, but like I said, you know, it's okay. Um... I know a lot of schizophrenics, and some of y'all, y'all get schizophrenic because you do drugs or something. Um, mine just came naturally from stress. I didn't start, because uh, I smoked some time to help me sleep and help me, you know, be calm. And so, um, I didn't start that till after I got this kiss. I didn't start smoking till I was like 18. And that's the only thing that made me sleep back then. And after a while, that stopped working, and so then I didn't sleep and just kept going through manic episode one after another. And then back in 2008, after my daughter was born, that's when I went and got on medication and started working, started working, trying to get myself together. Still ain't right in the head, though. Still fucked up in the head. I got a lot of issues to work through. I don't know if I can work through them all in one lifetime. My dogs are stressed because I'm not playing. But, uh... Uh, yeah, and then with my caseworker, I'm supposed to be getting a new therapist. 
So thank God for that. I need a new therapist bad. I haven't talked to nobody in like a year and a half about stuff. And I need that. I need that. I need to talk to somebody. And that's just me. I don't know if everybody else like therapy or they got a fucked up therapist. But there's good therapists out there. You just got to try new ones. If that one don't work out. Now my doctor's office, they cool. Because if I tell them I don't like a therapist, they'll switch me. And so they just, you know, they do that. So that's cool. Um, another qu question, why didn't I kill myself? Um, well, for years, I did want to kill myself, and I wanted to be with my grandpa, and so that's the reason why. But what made me, when I was younger, what kept me doing it, I didn't want to put my grandma through that, and the rest of them, you know, I, I didn't have the rest of my family to care about, but I didn't want to put my grandma through that, because she already lost one son, she lost her husband. I don't want her to lose me over suicide. And then uh, when I was grown, I was still pretty suicidal all the time. And so, um, hold on. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry. The suicide stuff. Um, I didn't do it when I was grown because of my kids. There's no way. I'm going to take myself out with them two Negroes on my side. And as long as they need me, I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to fight, 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 fight till I'm gone. And if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. But I'm not going to rush the process. I love my kids. I would never do that to them. So that's what keeps me from doing it now. Even though I still think about suicide and stuff all the time, they keep me from doing it. Um, oh, another good one. What, uh, what made me start cutting? Um, what made me start cutting? Okay, this is what happened. Like I said, my mom kept kicking me out and stuff. And so, um, the last time I went, the judge, the judge kept taking her word and they wouldn't let me tell my side. So they took her word, like I just kept, was just a chronic runaway -er. And so, they said that they, uh, if I ran away again or whatever, they would lock me up. So I'm like, okay, that's fucked up. So I guess I just try to hold the shit in, because I used to lash out. So I started holding the shit in, and then next thing you know, I'm cutting on my damn stomach and cutting up my hand. See though, I don't know if you can see those scars on my knuckles, but I started cutting up my hands and shit, and cutting bad, and so, that's what started it, was not being able to lash out, and even to this day, if somebody, like, say one of my relatives keep constantly, like my mom or something, just constantly at me, coming at me with shit, then if I don't flip out on them, I end up cutting, so I just go ahead and flip out now, I cuss them out in a second, I don't give a damn, don't piss me off on purpose. Um, and that's it, y'all. You know, that's all I got about what started me. You know, if y'all got any questions or something, you know, you can ask me. I'm here to answer y'all questions. I'm here to make you feel better. I'm here to, you know, make you feel like you're not alone because you're not alone. We all, a lot of us have schizophrenia. A lot of us have to deal with, you know, fucked up parents, you know. A lot of people have to deal with being molested, raped, stuff like that, you know, so... You know, if you need somebody to talk to, hit me up. Um, my YouTube, my my information for my Instagram, my Facebook was at the beginning of the video. So go ahead and, you know, look that up. Hit me up. Go subscribe to your friends, your caseworker, your doctor, anybody you think might enjoy my videos or not enjoy them, but, you know, learn something or teach them something from it. You know, go ahead. And so... Um, I guess I go ahead and wrap it up, y'all. Y'all have a good evening. Y'all have a good weekend. It's Thursday. I'm about to post this video, so y'all have it on Friday. And so, y'all enjoy the video. Go like my videos. Go watch my other videos. Go subscribe. I love you guys. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace.